Sometimes you know you put out some concepts that are a little too crazy, but the only way to know is to really push it as far as you can and go a little wild. We tested slippery when wet in Maine, which was basically in a hockey rink turned at an angle. We've never used gallons of vegetable oil to lube anything up to really make people slip up and fall. <laughs> On this one, your legs just start spinning underneath you. Before you know it, you're just sliding right down. Uh, what we found was that it required way too much oil to get that greasy effect. <laughs> Worked, but definitely not a go for next year. Dude, I, I, I'm screwed. Oh, no. <laughs> Undoubtedly, the most complex obstacle we've ever built. Yeah, we got two days of work to do in the next eight hours here. You know, the goal of this really is while people are pushing it around, they can watch the cable lifting up a big weight. And then if they want, they can wait and see it drop uh, and, you know, cause a big splash. And that's supposed to be the second part of the obstacle. Maybe I shouldn't use stainless steel pipe clamps. Yet another malfunction with the drop mechanism, the weight dropped before we were actually intending it to. Uh, we have gear problems over there yet, but we certainly did learn a lot in uh, getting this far. The general idea behind the obstacle of teams helping to push something to move a heavy weight is great. People enjoyed that aspect of the obstacle. One word, how'd that make you feel? Awesome, awesome. It worked in theory, it worked a little bit in practice. Ultimately though, revolving door did not